Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on everybody? This is Joseph Conlon here with a video today on Tuesday, January 26th, 2020, uh, 2021, my bad. Uh, real quick, I hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you had a good Monday and I hope you're having an even better Tuesday today. Um, today, I think you guys know what I'm here for. Um, today is the one year passing of basketball legend Kobe Bryant. Um, I just wanted to take a couple minutes today just to talk about Kobe, what he meant to the world, what he meant to the world of sports, and how great of a human being that Kobe really was to everybody. And I'm just going to tell you just a couple, a story for like where I was, um, when when Kobe passed, unfortunately, uh, in, in this crash. So, um, we're just going to start off this video today with a 10 second moment of silence for uh, Kobe Bryant. So, the guys who are watching this, uh, if you take a, if you would like to take a 10 second moment of silence, actually, you know what? We're going to make it 24. A 24 second moment of moment of silence for Kobe Bryant. Let me get the stopwatch on here. We are going to start this out right. Twenty four seconds starting now. Thank you guys. Take a sip of water real quick. Thank you guys for that. Um, Kobe Bryant meant the world to sports. Just not basketball in general. Um, he was a hero. He was a leader. He was a great father. And they were talking about him on um, on first take this morning. Um, I believe it was Max Kelvin. Uh, he Kobe loved his family, and Kobe was a family man. And you know, I'm kind of the same thing as well. I love my family uh, with my entire heart, and um, you know, I do anything for my family. And Kobe seems to be. Uh, that type of guy that will do anything for his family and will do anything to uh, give his family love and support so I can that's a reason how how I think I can relate to Kobe a little bit for the man he was and if, if I have a little bit of Kobe in me um, with the way he loved his family I would be proud of myself and I said the same thing when I said the same thing when Brody Lee passed away um, a couple weeks ago. How much he loved his family as well, and if I could have a little bit of Brody Lee in me, like a little bit of yeah, like a little bit of Brody Lee in me, I would be proud of myself, and I would say the same thing with Kobe Bryant too, because Kobe Bryant absolutely loved his family and he put others in front of him he cared about others and that's what being a good human's all about and i say it all the time i say it i say it on here on in youtube i say it on twitter i say it i even say it on snapchat um you know how important it is to be a good person and to appreciate your loved ones and care about others because you know you don't know um you don't know when stuff like this is going to happen and tomorrow is not guaranteed so 
Um, I'm just happy that I can relate myself to Kobe Bryant a little bit with that. And then we had uh, him being one of the greatest basketball players um, of all time. Having the Mamba mentality. I know he might not have as much championships. I'm not that big of a bas basketball fan. I watch it a little bit, not a lot. But I know who Kobe Bryant is. Of course I know who Kobe Bryant is. Uh, he don't got the championships, I think, like LeBron and Jordan. But he's one of the greatest basketball players of all time. I grew up watching him. And um, I guess I could just tell a little bit of a story real quick. So, of like, actually, I'll tell two stories. Um, I'll tell where I was when this happened and the night the Lakers honored Kobe uh, in, at their home, home stadium at Staples Center. But, um, so last year, this was on a Sunday, this was when Kobe passed. Um, it was Royal Rumble Sunday. This time last year, it was Royal Rumble Sunday. I got up, I was very excited uh, about Royal Rumble, you know, spending most of the day on Twitter, talking about the show, being like, oh, it's going to be a good show, and all that stuff. And then, I took an hour of my day to go golfing. So, not, not, not just to play golf, you know, just to go to the to the prep to the to the driving range just to practice a little bit get my golf game sharp all that all right so i went to the golf course i went with my dad and we were just hitting some golf balls for about an hour he was giving me tips and all that stuff getting me ready for the golf season and then he got a notification on his phone while i was hitting the golf ball by TMZ and it said that Kobe Bryant passed in a helicopter c crash and at first I'm like dad you're playing with me I thought he was playing with me saying stuff like that and then I hit a few more golf balls I go on Twitter and all I see on my Twitter timeline is, is Kobe Bryant passed in a helicopter crash in California and I just stopped I completely stopped and you know stood motionless and I didn't have any words to say um, I didn't have any words to say after that passing from Kobe Bryant at that golf course. I'm like, I'm not going to be able to concentrate. Let's just go home. So, that's my story. That's my story. Uh, it was tough to, it was tough to get excited um, about the Royal Rumble that night. Because of what happened with Kobe Bryant. It was tough to get invested into the Royal Rumble. But it ultimately turned out to be a very good show. But that's my first story. Me at the golf course. When um, when Kobe Bryant passed away. I'm going to remember that for a very long time. And then, and then a Friday night. I just got done watching Smackdown. And... I turn on the Lakers game, which is the game they were honoring Kobe Bryant right before the game. And he got, they're playing, um, who are they playing? I think they were playing the Portland Trailblazers, if I'm not mistaken. You got their entire team out there. You got the entire Los Angeles Lakers out there. You got Staples Center, who is sold out for this game. And they do the ceremony for Kobe and they play some sad music. And they have LeBron speak, and he's crying. And man, I just remember how emotional I was that night. What, sitting there, 
and um, and watching LeBron kind of speech on Kobe Bryant and um, him sitting there, uh, him standing there crying, you know, had me very emotional and I cried as well and um, I cried when um, when the Staples Center was chanting for Kobe Bryant. It's very, it's a very sad day, but he will be, he will, he is forever missed. Uh, everybody misses Kobe Bryant. It feels, it doesn't feel right. It just doesn't sit well with, with a lot of people. And there's a lot of passings that don't sit right with a lot of people and um it's just very upsetting it really is but i just wanted to take a few minutes today take a few minutes out of my day to come on here to talk to you guys talk to you about what kobe bryant meant meant to me a couple stories about kobe bryant so a, a couple stories about where i was the day that Kobe died, and um, that Friday night where the Lakers honored Kobe, so I wanted to bring that to you guys today for your content on Tuesday. Um, thank you guys for watching the video. If you have not already, subscribe to the channel, man. We got a loaded week. We got AEW tomorrow. That's going to be a good show. It should be a good show. Last week, I didn't review uh, for personal reasons. Um, so I didn't review the show last week because of personal reasons, um, and it was an okay show, not nothing great, hopefully they'll bounce back this week, um, so we got that, we got Royal Rumble preview and predictions with TM161, my boy, Thursday night, make sure you guys come on the channel for that, that is gonna be extremely fun, Friday we're gonna do Smackdown. Saturday, I don't know what we're going to do Saturday. We might just take the day off on Saturday unless I come up with something. And then Sunday night, we're going to, re we're going to review the Royal Rumble right here on the channel. So it is going to be a amazing week here on the channel. So you want to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Comment down below uh, if you have a story to say about Kobe Bryant for yourself. I would love to hear your story. Let's have a chat. Um... So leave a comment down below. Uh, hit that like button if you like what you heard from me in the video. And um, go follow me on Twitter at Colin underscore Joseph. I'm active on Twitter every single day. We are very close to... Um, we are very close to 2,000 followers. I am looking at my phone right now. We are at 1,920 followers. We are at... We are 80 followers away until 2,000 followers. Let's get that before Royal Rumble on Sunday. I'm going to send a tweet out tonight saying that, but I'm going to tell you guys right here. Let's get to 2,000 before the Royal Rumble on Sunday. Let's go. So I will see you guys tomorrow for AEW. Have a good night, guys. Stay safe. And of course, as always, stay classy.